So after seven years and I've um, come to the decision with my wife that um, it's time for me to retire. Um, my body sort of let me down a little bit this year. I've had some issues um, and it's, it's a hard decision. I, um, I love my time at the club, so it's really hard to say goodbye and I, I wish I could play on. Um, but for me, uh, my knee is sort of telling me that it's time for me to go and I've been battling with that all year. Um, it's, hard, it's hard to let go and every player goes through it. So that's the thing you've got to keep reminding yourself is every player goes through these things. Um, and we spoke about it and, and in the end, like I said before, the decision was the hardest and the easiest decision because my body made a decision for me. And um, yeah, then now sort of coming to terms with it a bit has is, is been hard, like, difficult the last sort of 10 days. I'll be forever grateful to Fremantle, to, to Bondi and Brad Lloyd and Ross for taking a punt on me and giving me a rookie spot. And, I was 24 when I got picked and didn't play my first game until I was turning 25 that year. Um, and to play, like I said, I, was, I feel lucky to play one game, let alone play over 100. Um, I'm very privileged to be part of that Fremantle era where we, we played in the grand final, we got very close, you know, um, minor premiers and some fantastic memories with some players. And, and even the lows, like even the try putting on the line and and failing, like I'll look back at that fondly, I won't look back at that with any regrets because we did everything we could and I'm proud and passionate to be part of that. Yeah, so I sat down with Ross privately off, off side and we went, went and sat down and had a chat and we, in my head I was sort of thinking we'll go there, it's going to be pretty hard to say and I felt nervous. I sort of felt like I was letting him down a little bit by saying I couldn't go on um, and I thought this will probably get over and done quickly in about 20 minutes, we'll get it done. I ended up sitting there for three and a half hours with him and it was fantastic and we spoke about all sorts of things. I really enjoyed that. Um, but he has been a massive part of my football journey and I don't say this lightly, but I think I got drafted to the, or rookied, to the best club possible for me. I think if it wasn't for Ross, I wouldn't have played anywhere near the same amount of games that I played. And, um, his drive for you to become a better person on and off field has really flowed into me. Um, and I hope that flows through to other players in the group. And I think that if everyone can sort of keep buying in, the club's going in a good place. And um, Like every player, you have up and down with your form, but he, he backed me in to always come back. And um, that's a huge reason why I got to play a lot of AFL football. I think my message to the fans would be thank you for the support over the journey. Um, thank you for how passionate you are. And I still remember to this day, down at Geelong, playing Geelong in a final. We've been written off. Um, no one thought we could get it done. They've won you know, a ridiculous amount. They lost two in the past 40 odd or something like that. And there was a little contingent of Freo fans in a corner and there would have been, I don't know, five, 6,000 of them down there at uh, Spotless Stadium, it was called at the time. And they were that loud. And every time something happened, we scored, they roared. And I, could, like, and I don't really hear the crowd noise very much. Um, and they roared through the whole oval and we got across the line. And, and then walking off and then stay, sticking around, hanging over the, the fence and, the, and just being absolutely passionate fans is fantastic. And my message to the fans would be, continue being so passionate. Um, this year, the group was very close to doing what we did in 2012. It was just a little bit off. And we had some young, young players that are gonna grow a lot from the games they've played this year. And um, I think if we can continue to improve and work, we can really have something special like what happened in 2012 and 13 where the group just gelled and would say stick stick with the, the boys because the first premiership's just around the corner and I, I truly believe that and I hope it happens very soon for the for the group.